Are mosquitoes ruining the family time in your yard? If so, let me show you exactly what I do to kill mosquitoes in my yard myself. You've probably seen all the mosquito control companies popping up all over. If you've ever wondered what those mosquito control companies do and how you might actually do that yourself in your own yard, let me show you. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to kill mosquitoes in your yard like a pro. I'll cover choosing a chemical for treating your yard for mosquitoes, choosing the best sprayer for your application and budget, the proper PPE to use, and how to actually go about spraying your yard for mosquitoes. When it comes to choosing a chemical to spray for your backyard mosquito control, the choice is clear, and that's bifenthrin. Bifenthrin is the mosquito killing active ingredient in Bifen IT and Tau Star P. These are leading insecticides for control of mosquitoes. These are both insecticides, so they're gonna kill the adult mosquitoes. They are not mosquito repellents. They're gonna both also kill other pesky insects such as mites, ticks, and fleas, which plague us in our yard. Bifenthrin is the most popular chemical for mosquito control because it's very economical and it's both safe for humans and pets once dry. I'll put links in the video description below for your convenience to both Bifen IT and Tau Star P. You can order them both online and get them delivered directly to your door. Bifen IT and Tau Star P both contain 7.9% bifenthrin, but Bifen IT is usually a little bit cheaper and is the one that I went with. Let me know in the comments below which was cheaper when you purchased your chemical for mosquito treatment. When you do buy it, be smart and buy the gallon jug. The gallon jug is going to be twice as expensive, but you're actually getting eight times the amount of chemical. So your money's going to go four times further. If that's still the case when you purchase the chemical, you can thank me in the comments below. If you really want to step up your mosquito killing game, consider adding an IGR or an insect growth regulator to your mosquito spray. Growth regulators such as Teco Pro, Nygard, and Archer all work to prevent the mosquito eggs or mosquito larvae from maturing to adults. They do this by affecting the molting process or disrupting the life cycle of the mosquito in your yard. This provides an exceptional one-two punch for killing mosquitoes when combined with an adult ins insecticide like Bifen. Bifen alone is very effective and cheap, but adding an IGR can really boost your results and provide a more effective mosquito control. This is what the Mosquito Pros are using in their mosquito killer mixes. I'll also put links in the video description below to these very popular insect growth regulators. I myself went with the Teco Pro IGR as it's got two different active ingredients that both work in different ways to inhibit the growth of insects. I'll also mention I'll put multiple links to those because oftentimes you can find them cheaper and on sale at different sites. Now that you know what mosquito killer to use, let's talk about sprayers. The most economical mosquito sprayer is just going to be your standard garden sprayer. If you have a smaller yard or on a budget, it can be a good option for you and get the job done. Some of the big drawbacks are the speed at which you can apply the chemical. Also, you're pretty limited to the length and height that you can spray with the garden sprayer. It's also not nearly as effective in delivering the chemical into the places that mosquitoes like to hide, such as bushes and trees, because there's really no power behind it. Another drawback is the droplet size is, is pretty large compared to a mister or a fogger, so you're going to be wasting a lot of chemical. A battery operated sprayer does work a little better, but it still lacks the major advantages that a fogger or a backpack sprayer would have. A backpack fogger like the Tomahawk TMD-14 is going to deliver the chemical 10 times faster and it's what the pros are going to use. It allows you to deliver ultra low volume droplets to both save you money and increase the coverage size and effectiveness of the chemical. The Mosquito Fogger will also deliver a 40 foot horizontal reach as well as a 25 foot vertical reach. This allows you to reach harder to reach places such as trees and other places that a regular sprayer just isn't going to get into. This Tomahawk sprayer holds 3.7 gallons of mosquito spray for your yard which allows you to cover up to one acre in 30 minutes. I'll put a link to the video description below on where you can purchase this backpack mosquito fogger. The prices of these mosquito foggers have dropped drastically in the past few years. So if you're paying a company now to spray your yard for mosquitoes, or if you can go in on the cost with a neighbor, the backpack sprayer will pay for itself in just one season. If you are paying for mosquito spraying now, let me know what the cost is for a treatment in the comments. Now let's talk about PPE or personal protection equipment. When dealing with insecticides, it's important to consider using the proper PPE. You'll want to follow all label guidance in regards to PPE, 
or the chemicals that you're using. Proper PPE includes sleeves, socks with shoes, safety glasses, and chemical resistant gloves. Though many chemical labels only require respiratory protection in non-ventilated areas, wearing an approved respirator is a good idea when using any pesticide. I'll put a link in the video description below of the respirator I use. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can find this video easily when you're ready for your DIY mosquito control. When you have your mosquito killer, sprayer, and proper PPE, you're ready to spray your yard for mosquitoes. First, you'll need to mix your chemical in your sprayer or mosquito fogger according to the label guidance. Most bottles come with a handy measuring spout to actually measure your mosquito killer for mixing. If you're using a backpack sprayer, you want to set it on an elevated surface for mixing. This makes it easy to load as it's heavy when the tank is full. You will want to focus your mosquito spraying efforts on the places that mosquitoes like to hide, which is trees, bushes, shrubs, and ground cover. Some people like to treat the perimeter of their lawn or yard, but spraying the entire lawn isn't necessarily required. You want to avoid flowering plants that bees are actively visiting. Your mosquito spray will also kill bees. So it's important to avoid these areas to protect pollinators. The backpack fogger allows you to cover large areas very quickly. It'll also let you to apply the mosquito spray to higher out of reach areas, as well as deeper into dense bushes. If you wouldn't put it into your mosquito problems, the backpack fogger is well worth the investment. Your mosquito treatment should last you three to four weeks. You can reapply when you begin to notice mosquitoes again in the yard or monthly. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you gained the confidence needed to tackle this DIY mosquito control yourself. If so, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Also, please check out the product links in the video description which covers everything needed to do this yourself. I hope this video helped you take back your yard from those pesky mosquitoes and that you're able to get out and enjoy it as much as we enjoy our yard.